Yo guys, what up? The Blue Gangs is here with another Tekken video for y'all, and this time we'll talk about Kunimitsu being OP, not. So many people are writing me, complaining to me, whatever, Kunimitsu is way too strong, she's way too OP, she's way too safe, way too this, way too that, bullshit. She's basically B- minus tier, and that for a good reason. Yes, uh, I wrote down some couple of moves. She got the good ones like uh, her uh, rage drive because uh, I'ma just quickly show, gonna show y'all uh, rage, rage drive. If you're not gonna block it, her rage drive because of the splat thing. And if it doesn't splat, yeah, you can do shit like this. Um, her one one because she can. Uh, let's get rid of this. Has like the stance options. Uh, three of them, which cover each weaknesses. Her uh, one, two, two. Her ten frame, which you can always go into back turn when you don't wanna like be. I don't know minus ten to minus twelve on block, so you do rather this. Um, her down forward one, which is only minus three on block. Obviously her 4-2, plus 6, minus 3 on block, instant back turn, um, but it's also good. Um, her 13 frame punisher, um, yeah, it's basically better than her 14 frame, don't use that, this move is trash. Uh, what else we got? Down for 3 plus 4, it's only, I don't know, like, minus 3 on block and you also can go instant into back turn. Um, nah, uh, down back 2 is also like, I don't know, minus 7 and you can instantly do like your wild standing or your full crouch things. Down back 3, her only solid um, low that you should end up with 4, so you're safe there. Uh, back 2 of course, homing, tailspin, uh, power crush, tailspin only on counter hit. Her back four for keep out uh, with the follow up um, and kind of quarter circle for one plus two. Uh, she also, of course, got some bad moves like her 14 frame, that's bullshit. Rather use I 13, way better. Her down for two does not launch 50% of all the time you use it. Because somebody's off axis or way too far or way too far ducked and it then it just clips instead of launches. Um, this one if it whiffs. The follow up here doesn't matter if you just wanna uh, cancel or go for the second move it doesn't matter. Somebody can just throw in a launch and that's it. Um, what else? Her up 1 plus 2 you can step it, you can jab, you can go back turn like a uh, side switch uh, up forward 2 we don't need to talk about this her while running 3 you can jab her out of it you can easily step it's it's zero on block it's way too slow it's way too easy step. whatever you get it um enter her, her like this move is this this move is good. You can mix it up with back stance or or a go for it, so you get a guaranteed this one. But her 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 like the the move she really doesn't need. They can just remove it, and Kunimitsu will probably be better out of them. It's a three plus four. Guys telling me that this is high and low crush, I don't want to test it because this move is bad. It's single mid, it's not a low high property whatever, no counter hit, no... Yeah, force crouch, but that's it, plus 7 on hit. Um, what am I doing? Minus 5 on block, like, erase that move, please. Her down for 1 plus 2 used to be good, but it's minus 14. It's not good as a long range punisher because you got other tools that are better than that. And it's not a combo starter on counter hit, nothing, it's steppable. Remove that. It was good, it's it's now, ah. 
Um, <sighs> this move, oh my god. This move doesn't even jail. Doesn't even jail. You can crouch this and even if you do this, you get launch punished before the third move comes out. And this one on hit is neutral. The first one on block is minus 14. It doesn't even do shit on counter it. None of those do shit on counter it. Remove the complete follow up and make this move freaking safe and plus on hit. This you can if you if this is gonna stay like it is, erase it. Doesn't make sense. Bullshit. Her parry. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. Now look. Let's go. You see that she has to You have to do this shit on startup because every other frame then startup won't activate the parry. And if Look Like that's completely wait it's a waste it's garbage it's bullshit even worse than back turn because you get you'll get a full string or or a free launch or whatever fix it or remove it only startup what the hell make it the complete animation so it at least is usable then it doesn't matter if somebody can jab you out because that depends on reaction but only the startup of this whole animation is the actual parry? What the hell? Up back 3 plus 4. It's, it's, it's not... I mean she got this which is... Look. Um, this one is minus 13. This one is minus 12. Alright, she got other things like this one right here and everything, but this one is minus 17 and on hit 25, 27. Like, I get it, keep out, whatever, but it's not really necessary. And, like, the worst of them all to me is her Katong stance. What the hell is this stance? When do you use it? What th what's the purpose of this stance? Where I don't get it. I really don't get it. I don't get it. So let's let's go through like first neutral one plus two. I don't know how many recovery frames this is because the game doesn't show. Then you can do one one into Katong and two two into Katong, right? Well, you got one, 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 which on its own is plus six on hit, and I, I believe minus three on block or something. You can do one, 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 two, one, one, four, like, and one, one into back turn. Why not instantly back turn? Why Katong? Here, two, two, ka two, two into Katong, right? I can do 2-2-2 two, two, two into set and 2-2 two, two, the complete string hold back and I'm in back turn. So I get a throw, whatever. But this... What is this? This right here, if, if those two first hits hit and I wanna do Katong 1 for, um, I don't know. Yeah, right. This follow up right here, this, cl this clashes with 12 frames. So if your opponent jabs, even if he gets with this, he's still gonna get hit. And the same goes for every other option, even if you wanna do this. Yeah, that's a high crush. But what about this and this right here? Both are low starters, means you can blow parry both. This one right here is guaranteed on hit, but on block, if you block the first one, the second one also gets blocked your minus 16. This one right here, if it's not the counter hit, if the first one is not a counter hit, the second 
the second one gets blocked automatically and it's minus nine Rebe remember that minus nine and you can't just duck it and then I don't know something like this so uh, give her first give her options way better options than just raw one one and two two and secondly reduce the animation frame the recovery frame the startup frame because nobody ever will like aside from gimmicks or something will 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 take the risk and go into katong after one one but you don't even have like enough range to 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 uh, let a jab with or something you're going to do one 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 and that's it or one one and all these three options but why should you use one one katong same goes for two two into katong doesn't make sense two two katong back yes oh uh wait she got this one right whatever that is And who will use that in, in neutral? Like you wanna whiff punish something with, with this or this? Your opponent has to be like minus 80 on whiff so you can actually launch punish with, whiff punish with that. What the hell? Completely useless. Alright, now we got all that. Now we got all that. You saw a lot of moves on block here. Minus 9. Minus 9. Minus 6, minus 9. Um, what else? Minus 11. Th like, there's so many moves that are minus 9. And everybody complaining about, uh, Kunimitsu safe, uh, I can't punish her. Yeah, but if I'm minus 9, what am I going to do? Can I jab? No. Can I sidestep? No. Can I backdash? No. I have to guess what you're going to do next. Because I'm... Right now, on the defensive side, I have to block. I don't even know if parry is gonna work. I'm not sure. Probably should, because it only works at startup. Like, what the hell is this? It's, she's There are so many moves on block that where she's minus 9, that means after that you can't do shit. And everybody be complaining about, yeah, she's safe, you can't punish it. Yeah, then take your turn, bro. Take your turn, bro. Do something. D don't just stand there. D don't just stand there and wait for her to do something. Do your thing, bro. She's minus nine. It's your turn now. Do something. What the hell is wrong with you guys? And that's most of her moves on block. And now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. I played a lot of Kunimitsu right now ranked. I played a couple Kunimitsus. I don't know how skilled you are but everyone who plays enough against Queenie Mitsu should figure that out that she's dead if you play her on keep out and keep her at max range because she can't do shit she can't do shit the only max range tool she got is her kunai which is launch which is uh, punishable on block if she's far enough and if she's not um yeah if she's close enough and if she's far all you have to do is to step and that's it and the other max range tool she got is set 3. Set 3 is seeable because it's slow and it's launch punishable on block. What do you think if I'm if I'm rage 5 that this is going to hit or this is going to hit? Just go back, just play keep out and that's it. She can't do shit. She has a problem. She's not that good it at zero range she's okay at zero range she's good at like here at mid range but she can't do shit at max range and if you keep her there and play on keep out she can't do shit it's over it's game just t do your damage do your damage here or here and then just go back and chill that's that's the complete game plan against Kunimitsu like what the hell is your problem? I don't get it. I don't get it. that's all you gotta do. Because you want her to get in with this, you see that with I have to be like 2.5 or something and then I'm minus nine. It's your turn. It's your turn. If you're not dumb enough to like fall every time for this mix up, 
if if you can't read those two options, then I'm sorry. All right, then I'm sorry. But if you can't read those two at max range, then there's basically nothing she can do. Her her, her sidestep is not that good. Her backdash is good, yes. But against someone who plays on keep out, you don't want to backdash too much. You want to go and be here or at least here. And if your opponent doesn't let you, there's nothing you can do with Kunimitsu. So again, what's the problem? Where is she OP? Oh, because her combo damage is from 66 to 73. And if you do the ultra crazy thing, which you can only basically do in practice mode, it's 81 or something. But she's the only character, right? Like, forget Steve, forget Paul, forget Armor King. Basically, every Mishima... They, they just all do 50 damage, right? Because 66 damage combo is so much. And another thing. Kunimitsu is not good at wall stages. She's way better. She can like unleash her full potential when it's wallless. Because then uh, when she ends something with a kunai. She's not automatically against the wall. Her back is not automatically ag against the wall. Her back. So... How many Wallace stages we got here? Three of, I don't know, 30 or something? I don't know. Like, what's your problem? I don't get it. Just, just stay here. Just play keep out and she can't do shit. Yes, she's safe, but she's minus nine most of the time. Take your turn. High combo damage. 66 high combo damage. My ass. And then you gotta be like, she's OP, she's way too, way too good, she needs to get patched before I play against Kunimitsu. Like, you want, actually, you wanna tell me that she is on a level with Fakumram or Leroy? What the hell is you talking about? What the hell is you talking about? She is B minus tier. Even if tears doesn't mean shit to you, she... She is under average. She's nowhere near a good character. Because she lacks so many things. She's just mediocre in some type of thing. She's, there is no thing where she's good, really, really good at. Alright, let, let's take the golden middle. Let's say the golden middle is mid. Alright? Mid. She's mostly like the best she can be is mid. In some situations. There is no situations where she's crazy good. Yeah, her, her mix-up potential with her stances. Yeah, okay. But just go away, chill there, and, and just try to stay here. And you will see Kunimitsu can't do shit. It's so easy. So easy. And she has no tools to avoid that. She has no tools to avoid that. Calling Kunimitsu OP because... For whatever reason, makes no sense that it's bullshit. Even if you take like the bad moves and the useless moves I showed you right now and patch them so they actually useful and somehow good, even then she's not one of the top characters. Even then, removing those useless moves or make them usable will make her slightly better, yes, but she will never compete against some of the best characters in the game she's she will never be a tier or something because she's not built that way and that's the real thing why i love kunimitsu because usually i play hardcore execution characters i only play mishima's armor king and stuff because i like this this crazy execution thing wave dash electrics and whatever kunimitsu is the complete opposite but I don't know what it is, but somehow I enjoy playing her because it's it's just fun. It's not her playstyle. It's it's just fun. It's just fun. I just play her for fun because I have really fun playing that game when she's the character I'm playing. But even I, even I gotta tell you that she is not a good character. So stop bullshitting with she's OP, she's way too strong, combo damage, blah blah blah. What the hell is you talking about? What the hell is you talking about? Take, t 
take, I don't know, Leroy, Fakum Ram, Horang, Paul, Jin, Devil Jin, whatever. Compare those characters with Kunimitsu. And then come back and tell me that Kunimitsu is the better character. Bullshit. Bullshit. I don't know what's wrong with you. It's just just because the just because of Leroy and Fakum Ram as soon as they came out they were busted as fuck. You're automa automatically in this mode, oh new DLC character, so she has to be OP whether I like it or not. Bullshit. Bullshit. She is not that good. She's not an OP character. Her combo damage is not super high. It's mid. What are you complaining about? Just learn the fucking matchup and you'll see how weak she actually is. And there is not a lot to learn. There, there are easy things you can avoid. You got a lot of options to avoid most of her shit. Yes, it depends on you if you guess right. If you guess wrong all the time, you're dead, of course. But that happens with every character in the roster. <sighs> I don't get it. Kunimitsu is OP. Kunimitsu is OP my ass. <sighs> That's it. The Blue Gangs is out. Peace, YouTube. Word.